I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for yep. the dragons of the wilderness. Yeah, so what does that mean? He don't have a, he don't, his, his heritage was stripped from him, man. You know, hey, first of all, Jacob took the birthright, man. Who was Jacob? The Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, the blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Among their respective tribes, man. But the Lord hates, man. Read that over. It says, was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yes. Yeah, es Esau is our brother, the so-called white man came out of the same womb as us, man. He came out of the same womb, bro. But that was, that was when the nations, that was when the nations were being created, so it don't matter, man. And you know what, they, they fought and struggled all while they was in the womb, man. They was fighting each other, man. Righteousness, I, why this wicked nigga in here with me? You know Jake was beating that cracker's ass in the womb, man. Choking him, slapping him, kicking him away. Get your leg off me. Esau probably was over in the corner, bent down like a bitch. Cause you know what crackers are, are, are feeble beings, man. Only time they get strong is when they have a, 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 a pistol, man. You ain't gonna see no cracker run up on no group of niggas and say, what's up? And, and if he do, that nigga's an Israelite. <laughs> If it look like a cracker, and he, you know what I'm saying, and he, you know, he, he act all hood and got rhythm and shit, that nigga's an Israelite. Go ahead. It says, yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh host, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. That's for, hey man. Hey, they, hey, you see they steady building, man. Go over to East Chicago, man. They steady building up shit, man. They got some nice new apartments out there. <laughs> you know? They building out here. Uh, in a couple, in a couple spots, I'm telling you, the spot I recently saw. Right, 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 right over the bridge, you Yeah, yeah, they building over there. By, over there by the college. Hey, they doing all that, the Lord gonna throw down, man. The Lord gonna, the Lord gonna, hey, they doing all that, that, that work, which is mostly our people doing Issachar, doing that shit, man. It's mostly Issachar, man, the, the so-called uh, Mexicans doing it. They building all that shit, and the Lord just gonna destroy that shit, man, in one day. Hey, you know, hey, you know, hey, it's just fun destroying shit, man. I don't know if y'all know, man, how fun it is to break shit. That's why when we was little kids, we always had our little toy for like three, four, five days. Before we end up in the corner with his head missing. <laughs> you get tired of him, his arms gone. I wonder why our kids breaking shit all the time, man. Hey, that shit is fun, man. Hey, I was in car I was in carpentry school when I did demo jobs. When I was going there with a hammer and just knock shit down, that shit was cool, man. I had a I had a I had a, a blast doing that shit, man. There's something about tearing shit down, man. It's the book of Obadiah. Verse 3, the pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. Thou dwellest in the cliff of the rocks. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all that dwelt in the cleft of the rocks, man. The Caucasus Mountains. You know? You, you had a question, man. Yeah, I was going to uh, go on back to uh, martial law and stuff like That's that. Okay. Yeah. No, we're we going we gonna to finish the scripture then. Because this is, this is going. Yeah. Go ahead. Who dwelleth in the cliff of the rocks, mm -hmm. whose habitation is high that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Yeah, whose habitation is high. See all these skyscrapers that they got in, in, in a lot of these downtown areas? You know, Chicago, New York, they got the tallest building supposedly in the world in, in New York. I think the tallest building in the world is in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. the Emirates, the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they got one of the, t the tallest building in America is in New York. Yeah. The, the new, the, uh, the new, uh, 
uh, trade center, whatever it's called. Yeah. You know, whose habitation is high, man? Who at the who who owned that building? I bet it's some cracker on that building. Because they, they habitation is high. They like being up high. They like being up in them tall ass buildings. Just like being up in the mountain. It remind them of home. Go ahead. And it said, and it, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down? Hey, to this day, crackers can't handle heat. You know up in the mountains, it get cold up in the mountains? At the top of the mountains, it'll be snowy peaks, man. You know, so that lets you know what, what nation is people talking about. Go ahead. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set the nest amongst the stars. So exalt thyself like the eagle, which is on uh, uh, the most military crest. You know, the eagle is on the on the dollars, on, on, on the American dollar, on the quarter, you know. They, hey, they exalt themselves as the eagle, man. Khalifa, the Dubai United Arab um, Emirates. Emirates. Yeah, the world's tallest artificial structure is 183 meters. That's 2,723 feet tall. So yeah, that's, that's the tallest building in the world. The tallest, the tallest building in America is in New York. New York, right? Yeah. The new train. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, read. And set their nest amongst the stars. That's what I bring thee down, said the Lord. Hey, who got the space program going on, man? I'm trying to set their nest among the stars. You know? So that's letting you know who that is, man. The so-called white man got the, got the space pro program going on, man. His habitation is high. He like them big ass tall buildings. Hey, this brother, this brother worked with a bunch of the rich. He said hey, their houses, look, a lot of their houses look like caves. Stone ceilings and walls. It's fancy caves. Yeah, man, a fancy caves. That's all they are. Hey, hey what, what's their what's they, uh, motto, man? Man cave, man. They, they came up with that shit, man. Because that's their dwelling place. Go ahead. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how are they cut off? I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's what they did, man. They came and stole and stole this country from the so-called Native Americans, man. You know? So they're gonna be cut off, man. They're gonna be cut off by slaughter anyway, man. What was your question, brother? Um, like. As far as this, I know it's gonna come to the time where like, where like martial law, and, and I know what martial law is, it's basically like coming to get like us and, and start, try to take us to these concentration camps and stuff like that. And majority of the people ain't going because I'm not gonna go. So like, I want to know far as y'all were shot, like what, what are we supposed to do within that time? I got a precept for you right now on that. This is uh, Matthew 10 and 19. He says, but, when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in yeah. that same hour. At the end of the day, you, 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 you gotta have faith. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you gotta believe to the end, man. You know? Somebody get that in, um, Isaiah, this fight is all the way to the end. Even if they do catch you and put you on a guillotine, you're supposed to be like, well, fuck you. What else can you do to me? You know? If you kill me, what else can you do to me, man? You know? You got to have that, that mindset. If I die, I die. So what? You know, because the Lord can raise you back up. See? You know, a lot of, we, haven't, we haven't really seen. See, we haven't really seen the power of the Lord, man. Like, we, on, 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 on certain small levels, on certain levels we have, you know what I'm saying? Because we see chariots, and we've had visions, you know, and we've and, and we've had the Spirit come to us and tell us things that were going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But we haven't seen a motherfucker get his head chopped off, and, and the next day you see him walking around. 
Like, what's up? No, I wasn't dead. <laughs> well, you got plenty of examples in the scriptures when you're reading the book of Acts. Now, the different apostles were getting locked up before the Lord is in the angel to you know, get them out of prison. Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. so, so, so the Lord can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, somebody get a uh, Revelation 20. Because yeah. some of us, is probably a lot of us, is going to get locked up yeah. in the yeah. concentration camp. Yeah, because you know what, man? Like, you know, like it's, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a certain amount of people. It's gonna be a certain amount of people that believe, and they're gonna get beheaded, man. But does that mean that they, you know, what I'm saying that, that they just gonna stay dead? And hey, the Lord can raise them back up, man. He is. Hey, the Lord, man, that could be your test. Are you will you die for me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That scripture said there's no greater love than the man to give his life for a friend. You know? So we, hey, like, like, like Yahweh Shah did, man, on the cross. For us, that was the greatest love, man. That was the greatest love that, that, that someone can show for another, die for him, man. You know? So do we love Yahweh Shah enough to, 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 to profess his name to death? To profess this truth unto death. So we got to think about those things. This is uh, Revelations 20 and 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. See, some of us going to be beheaded. You know? You can't, we can't worry about that death. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what? Death is only a transition to the spirit world. You know what I'm saying? The Lord can't put you on a body and bring you right back. Or well, the Lord can put you back in the same body, mend it together, and bring you right back up right. with spiritual power right. and ready to kill motherfuckers. Hey, 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 that's the thing. That's the thing that's going to come, man. In that time, hey, it's going to be brothers that receive that power, man. Right. It's going to be brothers that receive that spiritual power, man. You may be on the gear team, man. I said this, I said this a couple years back. You may be laying there on the guillotine and you say, okay, oh well, do it. Yeah. And they and they let the guillotine go and the guillotine break on your neck, man. Right. And the Lord give you power instantly, man. That's right. And, and uh to take it to land back on what the brother said earlier, man, when the when the apostles got locked up, some of them rejoiced when they got locked up. You know why, man? Because they knew they knew y'all was on their side. Which this the, this is the mindset you're supposed to be in. When you do get captured, you count that joy, all right? This this because what's what you're supposed to be thinking about. This is Revelation 18 and 20. He said, "Rejoice over her, thou heavens, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God for the power hath avenged you on her." All right. So the Lord is going to take this place down. So when we see martial law coming, we actually supposed to rejoice because like we like, hey man, it, it's. it's it, it, it's about to happen, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So we rejoice over that. All right, go ahead, brother. But at the same time, we're going to be in fear, too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah no, 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 I We're going to be happy that it's about to be yeah. over with. Because, no. because, like, I got faith. Yeah. And y'all was shot, but, like, I, I, I got the mindset where, like, when they come, I'm ready to die. We're going we gonna to go. We're going to go. We're going to fight. But you got to get prepared, though, in the spirit. Man. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got to get, you know, filled, uh, uh, filled up with this, uh, with this word. Man. Yeah. Because that's what they're going to come. Get that in the uh, Hebrew, bro. Go ahead, I, I got to go into this right here in Revelations 20 and 4. It says, I'm going to start again at the top. He says, and I saw the thrones. And they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded right. for the witnesses, for the witness of Yahweh Shai, uh -huh. and for the word of the Most High. Right, so you're going to have brothers that's going to die for the word of the Most High, man. Yeah, they're going to be martyrs. Right. That's called martyrs. Yeah, yeah, right, a martyr. You know? So that's, that's going to actually happen, man. Because, because hey, this so called white man, he know who we are, man. We all on. You know, we got videos, but that's called when you go to Romans, the Lord said, make our body a living sacrifice. Right. So it's like he sacrifices his, his, his life for us. You got to sacrifice his, 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 our life for him. Because you really don't know what, what's going to happen, man, you know? Yeah. You just got to have faith, man. Hey, as it is written, written, the servant is not no greater than his Lord. Right. You know, so if the Lord suffered, was was persecuted, the Lord dealt with that, that, uh, 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 that uh, uh, affliction. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Of them beating on him. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? They came and got the Lord, man. Huh, you yeah. know? In the middle of the night, man. You know? Hey, they yeah, put him on trial, then what? He just put the devil, man. You know? Yeah. Hey, somebody get Psalms 116 and 15. But just like the just like this man can kill you, the Lord can raise you back up though, right? You know what I'm saying? Get that. They may hey, they may catch one of these brothers. They may catch your 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 children. You, you may have to watch your children get beheaded. Right. And the Lord and, and, and still be like, okay, well, I'm next. You know what I'm saying? And then the Lord could raise your children back up, give you spiritual power, man. Right. right. And that goes back Somebody to what he said earlier. Yeah. They 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 that uh that, that dying the Lord shall rise first. Who got that in song though? Is it Psalms 116, verse 15? Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. See, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints, man. Mm -hmm. That's actually a real honorable thing, man. That's right. To die doing the, doing the work of the Lord, man. Yeah. No, yeah. Not, not being a, a Judas, man. Yep. You know? And uh, you know what? Re another reason why it's honorable because you leave this flesh, man. Yep. And you become a spirit. And the spirit is pure, man. So that means you ain't going to sin against the Lord, man. Because the spirit is pure, man. It's the flesh that we use to commit the sins that we do. You got to think, you can't mentally, you know, you can't mentally uh, commit a sin, an act of sin. You use your flesh to do it, man. If you know this woman married, and you and you uh, uh, know, this, know this woman got a husband, you're not going to just, in your mind, pursue her. And, and, and have sex with her. No, you got to step to her and, and persuade her to, to go against her husband, you know? So, so, so it's, the act of sin is, is committed in this body. So when we, when we die, we leave this body, the sin that we committed is in this body, man. The spirit is pure, you know? That's why with this, this, the scriptures speak of this body as being everlasting, chains of darkness. That's why the, speak, the scriptures speak about the flesh and how you war with the flesh. Go ahead, you know? Read it up. You know uh, back in Revelations? No, let's go. Oh, I got the. Uh, this is uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the most high, and the dead in Hamashiach, Salakia, in Christ shall rise first. Yeah, yeah man. The dead is gonna, gonna actually rise first. Send this reading. Con, he says then. So the ones that actually died in the Lord, they're gonna be the first ones being on the chariots, man. All right, read. He says then, when, Salaki, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up now to. the ones that, 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 that didn't get put to death, they're gonna go up after, man. So the ones that, that shows you, like you said, when you're three, what's that song? Read that over again. Con. That's why they're gonna they gonna they gonna be, be uh, 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 risen first. Because why it's a precious thing, man, yeah. to be a martyr for the Lord, man. Read, right. read that in the Psalms again, sixteen fifteen. Because the thing we get into is the cares of this world, man. That's right. And the cares of this world are frivolous, man. Because you know what? We love our kids, but you can't love your kids more than the one who created them. That's right. Go ahead. Which, which, that's the father. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we get all caught up into. The, the fear of the idea of death. And it's really the fear of the unknown. Because a lot of us in our minds, we don't know what's gonna happen after we die, or when we die. A lot of us, we've been taught the slave doctrine, if you wasn't good and happy all the time, you're gonna go to hell. That's right. What's that, that whole, that whole hell doctrine is a lie. That's right. I'm bring that out. Because the Spirit said, the Spirit said, uh, uh, I mean, the scripture said in Ecclesiastes, Hey, the, 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 the flesh going down into the earth and the spirit go to the Father who made it. Right, God. I got something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. This is Psalm 116, verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so that's why they're going to be the ones, you know, being the church first. Right? Because it's an honorable thing to die for the Lord. Now go back to what what, what we said. The greater, there's no greater love than one give his life for his friend. Right. Now right. if we call if we call the Lord our Father, and we and we working on building a relationship with Him, and hey, we should be prepared to die for our cause, man. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got nations. You got nations. The uh, the, the so-called Arabs, man. They so they serve a false god, man, and they right. prepared to die for us. Right. 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 And how much more are we serving the living God, man? 
If they come out here and tell me, you better not be out there preaching.